All right, everybody, back with more Arizona agate nodules to cut today. So, I'm not sure how many I got here. I got a whole bunch of little ones, really little ones. So, I don't know if I want to go through all of these individually, but you'll see some of them have, yeah, it's got some cool pattern. But the majority of these look like solid nodules with not a lot showing. So let's get these on the saw and cut open and we'll see what they look like. It's pretty much they all look very similar. Hold on to them. <laughs> Set this down. This one's a little different. It's got a little bit of stuff showing. The rest of these don't. guy he's a little bit bigger than the rest and then this first one that we showed you had some pattern showing he looks different all right get these off to the saw get them cut we'll see what's inside all right back from the saw all right let's start with some of these little ones that ended up just full of quartz so this first one, a little bit of banding on that end, but mostly quartz. Pretty clean looking. Might look nice tumble, look polished. Next one is also mostly quartz. Put a little more banding around the outside edge. Again, this would look pretty cool, polished or tumbled. A little bit of a geode section. Not very deep. Okay. Next up. This one started to come apart on the layers. Popping off. So you can tell he's old and weathered. And it's got some fractures. It's got a mixture of some stuff. If it didn't have the fractures, this would have been pretty cool looking. Really neat in there. Kind of a cool pattern. Just on this side. So we kind of caught it on the edge of something going on there. Eat. Probably throw it in a tumbler. All right, next up, this one is mostly a translucent nodule. And all right, it's got some quartz and some lavender banded agate around it. Pretty neat looking. Bands are really cool. Nice color. It's got the white orbs. It's got the pretty clean quartz. And it's got a little bit of a lavender color to it. All right. Definitely a cool polished face polished on that. Alright, another little one. Again, this one had a little bit of color in it. Can't tell if that's just gray or if it has a little bit of lavender. It's got a little bit of quartz and a floater. And a quartz inside of that. That's created a pretty cool pattern now. And you got a flow channel right here. Nice. A little more quartz on this side. Alright, that would look nice polished. 
Yeah, I don't think it'd take much to polish these little ones. Okay, hit a little guy. All right, he's got some better banding in it. It's a good color. Um, it does not, there's a little bit of paint from the saw blade, but then there's also another mark. Can't tell if that's a, a fracture. If it is, it's healed. Or if it's just one of those weird lines. It's not on this side. There's no fracture mark on the edge. I think it's just part of the uh, design. Maybe something caused that to happen. Alright, definitely a little nice polished. Again, it's a little one, probably wouldn't take much to fall. Okay, so this next guy, I tried cutting him kind of down the spine. Because he was pretty thin. Wanted to maximize the uh, face here. Now, he turned out to be a banded agate with a quartz center with a floater. Cut sideways, he looks pretty cool. That would look nice polished. This side's even nicer. Alright, very cool. Alright, this next guy, he's a little bit bigger. Whoops. And knock my camera over. He's a little bit bigger, and you can hear he is hollow. So let's see what kind of a cavity we got. All right, so somewhere uh, there was a breach and it got some of that cleachy stuff in there. That would probably clean out with a little bit of muriatic or hydrochloric acid. Pretty cool looking. See the little quartz crystals hanging on the walls. This side, a little less of this stuff. That pocket goes in pretty deep. Very nice. That looked nice polished. Once all that stuff is cleaned out of it. Okay. Next up. So this one had a kind of a mossy look, but had a banded pattern right in the middle of that. And there was another banded pattern over here. One over here. So I was hoping there would be banding in this one with the moss. Let's see. Nah, nah, the banding was mostly just on the edge. A little bit of banding in there, but all right. The colors are cool. I like that. Huh, I don't see any uh, fractures. Not a lot of pitting, if any, a little bit, but not much. Yeah, look at the color on those bands. It's got like a peach or something around the outside edge. Very cool, yeah, that might be worth slabbing up just to see what the rest of these look like. And then maybe some cabochons cut out of them. Very cool. All right. Next up. Kind of a translucent looking one. Has some fractures in the surface. And then something going on down here. You could see the dark area. Kind of goes from here up to here. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, so that dark area was definitely some contaminants in there, or post rock, mixed with the banded agate. But then you got a nice pattern, full pattern, fortified pattern, a little bit of quartz up in the corner. These always look nice, face polished. Just leave all that other stuff in there. It looks really cool, the contrast. That's going to be a nice face polish. Very nice specimen. Very cool. 
Okay. And another one similar to that one where it's got definitely some agate looking stuff up here and some darker stuff down here. I think this cover on here is because it was sitting next to <laughs> a house when it got spray painted. Got a little bit of spray paint on it. Let's see what we got. Ooh. Oh, that's really cool looking. Very nice pant, uh, banded section on the bottom. It's nice mossy stuff above that. A little bit of pit. Again, like that last one, this would make a nice specimen. Uh, just face polished. This stuff that's got some color in it just off the blade, it'll come off. That'll look really cool, face polished, especially this side. That is really nice. All right, got some good stones tonight. All right. Next up. So this one had an odd little hole in it. Kind of a negative impression of a crystal that was growing. And this pocket developed around it. Let's see. <laughs> oh my. Look at the shadow banding in that. I hope this comes out in the video. I mean, I can see it in the camera screen. That is super cool looking. Those are some really neat pans. It's got some of those white marks that kind of look like fractures, but they're not. I can see one that is definitely a healed fracture though. It's 100% healed. It's completely filled in. All right. Uh, because of that indentation, I love the pattern around it. Uh, definitely going to have to face polish these guys. Very cool. Okay, I got two left. All right. Next up, smaller one. This one had something going on down here. A little bit of peeling on the skin. So try to cut it just up here at its almost a thick spot. And great color banding. Okay, this section did pop off, unfortunately. But if I did a dome polish on this one, I could fix that for sure. That is gorgeous. This side is just as nice, if not nicer. Just missing this section where it popped off. Yeah, face polish on these guys for sure. That's nice. Okay, last stone in this set. So, save this one for last. This one had that weird quartz pocket on the end. Um, when they're open up like that, usually they're just on the end. So, in case he had anything good, I just kind of wanted to cut this off and see what we got. <laughs> and what I got was some purple. So we got some banded agate. It's a purple agate, it's a white agate. Got some stuff with colors, some tubes. Those are really neat. Uh, it's all marks will come out. The color on this is really cool. It's got some nice purple in it. All right, and this side, the thicker side. Wow, the banding around the edge is really neat. The purple on the inside, the white inside of that, and then the tubes over here. That's so nice. Ooh. He's a little on the small side, but I might 
cut one slab off of this to make a cabochon with that color. And then face polish the rest. And we'll definitely face polish that. Alright, we're going to end this video on that stone. Always good to end on a purple. Very cool. Alright, well thanks for watching everybody and we'll catch you on the next video. Bye.